again. Ugh, I am now. How can anybody get any sleep with you around? Oh, look, it's um, like a grouchy caterpillar woke up on the wrong side of the leaf. <laughs> Got any Starbucks in here? What is wrong with you? You mean other than the fact the doctor says I'm contagious? Contagious? <laughs> well, his actual words were, I'm highly, highly contagious. <laughs> Yikes! I'm stuck in this chrysalis with you? What have you got? Doc says it's something called need to know -itis. <laughs> Because I need to know things like why? Why me? Why is this happening? And and I need to know what what if? What if I did something different? What what if I would have crawled left instead of right? Stop already. Haven't you heard? The whys and the what ifs are highly, highly contagious negative vibes that will drive you into an early grave. I mean, Christmas. I know. And even if you did have all the answers to your questions, they would never be good enough, would they? Probably not. But I just can't think straight anymore. I feel like I'm in a fog or something. And that awful smell is not helping at all. Yeah. What is that? Hey, was that you? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't me. Uh, maybe the stale pizza. Pizza? Yeah, Domino's delivered last week. <laughs> now who's one slice short of a picnic? <laughs> when is this nightmare ever gonna end? That depends. When you are encapsulated in a thick outer crust for protection and have a vulnerable inner room, you'll need to carefully peel back the layers to heal a grieving heart. And what does that mean? Well, what it means to me is, if I'm open and willing to do the work, I can become an even better version of me. What does it mean to you? Hmm. I think it means that I'm stuck in this chrysalis with a deranged caterpillar. I'll just take a deep breath or do whatever it is you do to relax. Play pickleball. <laughs> you can't play pickleball in here. Why not? Afraid I beat you? You wouldn't beat me. You are so annoying. <laughs> Are you, are you trying to talk to me in sarcasm? Oh, if you think I'm talking sarcasm, you should hear what I'm thinking. I'm getting exercise just shaking my head in disbelief at a blonde caterpillar. Well, I don't care what you think of me. I'm kind of glad we're in this together. I don't do the alone thing so well. Yeah, well, truth be told, I may seem to have it all together, but deep down inside, I have no idea what any of my passwords are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break down and change them all. Well, it sounds like change is hard work for you, too. Yeah, and when things get difficult for me, time crawls. Well, time probably crawls for you because you're a caterpillar. <laughs> okay, but I've heard that time flies for some, like, Butterflies. Oh, wouldn't that just be so awesome to be a beautiful butterfly, free to fly away from all your worries and cares? Well, I say we confront this alternation, hibernation, transformation thing head on and see what happens after taking a good metamorphosizing nap, of course. Uh, of 